start it. Look at the sky. You see that little bird over there? You see the birds? The birds are still flying in the sky. So that means God is still in control. God is still in control. God is bigger than the coronavirus. God still sits on the throne. The gloves and masks is not gonna protect you. God will. Prayer changes things. Turn to God at this time, y'all. Cause don't panic. It ain't nothing that you can do about whatever's going on. Take this time that you have free to do some of the things that you've been wanting to do. Read a book. Spend some time with your kids. Do some type of project with them. Um, clean out the closet. Get some old things that you've been wanting to do. Or watch a movie with the kids. Something that you haven't done in a long time that you've been meaning to do. You know, God have a way of sitting you down. Now, we all have been sat down. And we all are paying attention. We all know that this is now the time to turn to God. So turn to him and trust that God is still in control. God is still on the throne. God is in control. Pray and trust in God. It's faith over fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So have faith in God. God is still in control. Our God is bigger than anything. He is bigger than this coronavirus, bigger than this disease. So I hope this bless somebody's spirit. Have a blessed have a blessed week. Be blessed. Reach out to your family members and your friends. It might be time for social distance, but we don't have to be distanced from each other. We can always call Skype. You know, technology is so amazing that we can keep in touch with our family members. So as we you know, as we, uh, you know, quarantine, let's just take the time to do some things that we haven't done in a long time and call that family member that you probably got in tour with a long time ago and y'all haven't been talking in years. Now is not the time to hold a grudge. So it's a time for love and peace. So you be blessed.